dive deep into the life of Lauren Boebert, the fiery American politician known for her outspoken views and dynamic presence. In this video, we explore everything you need to know about Lauren Boebert, including details about her husband, her age, her parents, and her unique lifestyle. Get an in-depth look at her biography and discover how she built her impressive net worth. Whether you're a fan or just curious, this video will give you a comprehensive understanding of who Lauren Boebert really is. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more fascinating biographies and insights. Lauren Boebert is an American politician, businesswoman, and gun rights activist serving as the U.S. Representative for Colorado's 3rd Congressional District. From 2013 to 2022, she owned Shooter's Grill, a restaurant in Rifle, Colorado, where staff members were encouraged to carry firearms openly. Born, December 19, 1986, age 37 years, Altamonte Springs, Florida, United States. Office, Representative, Republican Colorado 3rd District, since 2021. Education, Rifle High School, 2004. Spouse, Jason Bobert, M., 2007-2023. Children, Caden Bobert. Height, 1.52 meters. Candidate for, 2024 Colorado member of the U.S. House elections. Lauren Bobert, net worth $26 million. Early life. Bobert was born in Altamonte Springs, Florida, on December 19, 1986 to Shauna Roberts Bentz, who was 18 at the time of Bobert's birth. The identity of her father is not known. Professional wrestler Stan Lane was suspected of being Bobert's father, but two DNA tests ruled that out. At the age of four, Bentz took her from Florida to Colorado to stay with her boyfriend, only to move back to Florida with a different boyfriend, and then finally return back to Colorado with the Colorado man who became her stepfather. When she was 12, she and her family moved to the Montbello neighborhood of Denver and later to Aurora, Colorado, before settling in Rifle, Colorado, in 2003. Bobert dropped out of high school during her senior year in 2004 when she had a baby, she earned a GED certificate in 2020, a month before her first election primary. Bobert has stated that her family depended on welfare when she was growing up, and that she was raised in a democratic household in a liberal area. Records at the Colorado Secretary of State's office show that her mother was registered to vote in Colorado as a Republican from 2001 to 2013 and as a Democrat from 2015 to 2020. At age 19, Bobert herself registered to vote in 2006 as a Democrat. In 2008, she changed her affiliation to Republican. According to Bobert, she became religious while attending a church in Glenwood Springs, and that she became a born-again Christian in 2009. She has said she volunteered at a local jail for seven years, but attendance logs at the Garfield County Sheriff's Office show that she volunteered at the jail nine times between May 2014 and November 2016. Early Career After leaving high school, Bobert took a job as an assistant manager at a McDonald's in Rifle. She later said that this job changed her views about whether government assistance is necessary. After marrying Jason Bobert in 2007, she got a job filing for a natural gas drilling company and then became a pipeliner, a member of a team that builds and maintains pipelines and pumping stations. Personal Life Bobert lived with her husband, Jason Bobert, in Silt, Colorado. They have four sons and one grandson. Her mother inspired me to be a mother when I was 18 years old. In February 2004, Jason was arrested and charged for harassing and physically assaulting Bobert, and he was convicted in November 2004. Jason worked in the oil and gas industry prior to opening their restaurant, Shooter's Grill, and continued working in that industry even after opening the restaurant. Jason registered the company Bobert Consulting LLC in 2012 and provided drilling services as an on site drilling foreman to Terra Energy since 2017. In her 2021 filing with the House of Representatives, Bobert reported her husband's income as a consultant for Terra Energy at $460,000 in 2019 and $478,000 in 2020. In 2015, Bobert was detained at a music festival for shouting at a group of people arrested for underage drinking, yelling that the arrest was unconstitutional because they had not received Miranda warnings. 
Deputies reported she encouraged people arrested for underage drinking to break free and repeatedly said she had friends at Fox News who would report on her subsequent illegal arrest. She was cited for misdemeanor disorderly conduct and twice failed to appear in court on the charge. The charge was later dismissed because the Mesa County District Attorney's Office believed there was no reasonable likelihood of conviction if the case went to trial. In 2016, Bobert was cited for careless driving and operating an unsafe vehicle. On February 13, 2017, she was arrested and booked in Garfield County Jail for failure to appear in court on these charges. She pleaded guilty to the unsafe vehicle charge, and the careless driving and failure to appear charges were dismissed. On May 11, 2023, Bobert filed for divorce from her husband, citing irreconcilable differences. The divorce was finalized on October 10, 2023. On September 10, 2023, Bobert and a male companion were removed by security staff from a performance of the musical Beetlejuice in a theater in Denver, Colorado, after she caused a disturbance by vaping, singing, and recording the performance. Bobert initially denied having vaped as well as causing a disturbance, writing on social media that she pleaded guilty to laughing and singing too loud. After surveillance video footage of the incident was released, she apologized for short of her values and vaping. She said that she had previously denied it only because she did not recall having done so. The video also showed Bobert's companion fondling her breasts and Bobert caressing his genitalia while they were in their seats. Months later, Bobert described the incident as a very private moment that the media had broadcast. On April 3, 2024, Bobert was hospitalized after feeling severe swelling in her left leg. A CT scan uncovered a blood clot, which was successfully removed in a surgery. She was also diagnosed with the rare condition, May-Thurner syndrome.